Hey friend, John McLennan here, and in this video you're going to learn how to play Losing My Religion as recorded by R.E.M. on guitar. Now this is a great song to work on your strumming, and of course it's primarily driven by the mandolin part, but I'm going to show you a way of combining that mandolin line with the guitar chords, and it sounds really great to play by yourself. I'll also show you an easier way of just playing the melody if you want by itself, or the chords. And I'll take you through the entire song so when you're done with this lesson, you'll be able to go and play right along with the original recording. But before we dive into it, I wanna hook you up with a gift right away for spending some time with me here on my channel. At the first link down below, I've got a free tab sample pack. And these are some exclusive tabs that go along with lessons here on my YouTube channel. So if you get value out of just watching my videos, you're gonna get so much more out of them when you can follow along with the handouts that I have for you. So check that out as my gift to you, and with that said, let's dive into this song. Let's learn how to play Losing My Religion as recorded by R.E.M. on guitar. Now we're gonna start off with the intro, and I'll show you a way of just playing it with the chords, and then I'll also show you a way of incorporating a little bit of that mandolin line in there. So let's start with the chords. We're gonna play an F. And you can play this, if you're just playing the straight chords, you could do like an F bar chord like this, or you could do a little F, any kind of F. Here I'm playing one, three, three, two, one, one. Now I'm gonna go one, two, and three, and four, and one, and two, G, A minor. F, G, A minor. We're into the verse where the lyrics start, oh, life is bigger. So here we're going to play F, and then I went to a G, this sort of folk style G like this, because that's going to flow nicely to the A minor, the next chord. So one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and two, and then you can go back to G three and four and one and two, back to F. Now with the strumming here, I'm just going one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Then the second time, we're gonna go F, same, G, A minor. Then we'll anticipate that G. So one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. That's the second line down there on the handout. So A minor, one and two and three and four G. Now, if you want to spice it up a little bit, you can play a little bit of that mandolin line in there like this. One, and two, and. So here's what I'm playing here. Starting on the second string, three, I'm using my pinky, then open E, back to three, then second fret on the third string. And that's just a fun melody to play. It's all eighth notes starting on beat three. So I'll go one, and two, and three, and four, and then the, the band comes in on the F. So when I do this melody, I go to this thumb chord for F. I just hit the bass note one, two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and then the melody again. Now A minor. Melody. F. Melody. A minor, two, and three, and four, and one. Now I'm cheating there a little bit with this fingering with A minor. What I'm doing is I'm covering two strings with one finger like that. So all together, starts on beat three, we'll count one, two, and. Then we're into the verse, and that's, oh, life is bigger. Here's what it sounds like. If you're enjoying this video, make sure to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so YouTube will let you know when I post another video just like this.
So we start out with a four bar chord progression that's repeated three times. It's gonna go A minor to E minor. And that's from the fifth string down, open, two, two, one, open. And then E minor, all six strings. So we're gonna go one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and just an eighth note strumming pattern going back and forth with my strum hand. Two bars of A minor, then two bars of B minor. Then repeat. Do that three times. So once we have that lyric cue, I said too much, then we move on to two bars of D minor. That's open two, three, one, to G for two bars. Then we repeat back, we do everything again. A minor to E minor, three times, then. Then we go to the B section, and that's, I thought that I heard you laughing. That goes like this. So that's F. This is the B section. One and two and three and four and one and two, and then go to G, three and four and two chords in that second bar, then A minor for two bars. Then do the first part again, F, one and two, and G, A minor. Then we anticipate the G. This is a, a lot like our intro chord progression, right? So F, one and two, and G, A minor. Stay there. F. Okay, then we go back, we do everything again. Then a little bit later in the song, we have this little mandolin bridge, and that's like. That's the mandolin part. So open E, then to the third fret, first fret, second fret. But the chords that go with that. Da -da 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 So that's A minor, we're just playing whole notes and letting these chords ring out. One, and two, and three, and four, and... F, back to G. Okay, then the lyrics go, That was just a dream. And here we go, C to D minor. Then, that's me in the corner. And we're back to the verse. So there I just played C, two, three, four, to D minor. Then repeat, C to D minor. Congrats on making it through this classic REM tune. Be sure to take it slow and work out each part. Remember that you could always just play like that mandolin melody as a single note version, or you could play just the chords, or you could put it all together if you want that full sound. It just requires, of course, a little bit more work, but you have all of those options that you can explore. Now, before you go, don't forget to download my free tab sample pack at the first link down below. And this is gonna make learning from my lessons so much easier because you'll be able to follow along with the handouts that I have for you. So check that out as my gift to you. Also, let me know down below what your number one song is that you would like to see me teach here on the channel. Just comment it down below. Thanks for your support with the lessons and we'll see you in another video real soon. Thank you.